I am very grateful to the right honourable and learned lady, but I wonder if she could say something of her own position in relation to the precedent set by the Judicial Committee of the House of Lords when a decision on which Lord Hoffman was involved was set aside not because he was biased, but because of the perception of bias. In relation to her famous tweets, how does she think she met the Hoffman test? Well, I'm, I'm happy to answer the point that's made. Um, I was appointed by this House, by the house. in the expectation yes. that I would chair the committee yes. Yes. with no one uh, speaking against it. Yes. 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 After yes. the tweets were brought to light and were highlighted, because I am concerned about the perception of fairness on the committee, and I agree that perception matters, I made it my business to find out whether or not it would mean that the government would not have confidence in me if I continued to chair the committee. And I actually said I am more than happy to step aside oh. because perception matters and I don't want to do this if the government doesn't have confidence in me because I need the whole House to have confidence in the work that the committee has mandated. And I was assured that I should continue the work that the House had mandated with the appointment that the House had put me into and so I did just that. Yeah. 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 Oh dear, I think that's a mic drop. I think that's a mic drop, Jacob Rees-Mogg. Our report.